Hi everyone, thanks for joining me. Today we'll be taking a look at the Orient Ray model number FEM6508B9. I got this from a trusted seller, Long Island Watch, through Amazon. The shipping was pretty quick. I won't go into details about pricing because these things do fluctuate. And I will be going into some details and features that might help those who are looking for this specific model. So the Orient Ray is the updated model from the original Orient Mako and straight from the out of the box I, I can notice that it has a nice weight to it so which is pretty good this uh, specific watch has two screw down crowns this one's a push button crown and it controls the actual day and this one controls the date and the actual hour mark this is an automatic watch rated at 200 meters. It's automatic. As you can see, it, it just goes round and round. Not like a quartz watch. It just goes one smooth movement. And also, it, it works like this. From the movement of your arms or swaying of your arms or just everyday use, everyday wear. It charges a mechanism that in, inside that you know controls the motor and it charges the motor. So you never need a battery replacement and this is a unidirectional bezel it's it's pretty smooth now but when I first got it it was really stiff it took me like 13 14 turns around just to get it to where it is right now which is smooth but I think if you're a diver you probably would want it nice and stiff so it doesn't knock around while you're you know diving and such so safety feature and everything but for everyday use you probably want it a little bit more smooth because it has a timer here for 15 minutes so you can set your time so you know it's it's good and if you're a diver it's probably better that you know it's unidirectional because you'll come up early if anything not come up late which is a bonus and a safety feature for divers and also this bezel here comes with multicolor, I chose with black on black. It comes with blue on blue sundial, and also black on on yellow as well, which which is pretty nice too. But I just like this one; it has more of a casual look, and it goes with more outfits. The only thing negative I have to say about this specific model is the actual band that it comes with. As you can see, this is not the original band here. This is a band that I use on all my watches off an older model watch that I had. But I use it for almost every watch that I get. It's basically a solid link. Solid steel link, you know. It's really comfortable. has a nice weight to it. And it's butterfly opening. Like, as you can see. And the only the reason I like this one so much is that it doesn't have a push button. Like most bands it's one smooth uh, look all the way around and the reason I changed this over is this is this bit the original one right here as you can see it's really nice it's not as heavy as this one uh, it's not like solid steel uh, solid end links or anything like that but as you can do a little test right now just listen carefully you can hear it rattle as you wear it and I'll shake this one it's not as loud and it's you know not as it's way more comfortable just trust me on this compared to this one and this is the actual end link that comes with it here and it's not as you can see it's it's hollow I don't even think this is stainless steel but with this on it even rattles even more even louder than what it is now so that's why I took it off and another reason I took it off is I wore it for two days just to try it out and this push button actually pinched my skin once so I took it off right away but other than that it's uh, you know it's pretty nice the design and everything is pretty nice I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with this right now but I'm I won't be using this at all okay guys a couple things to note before I leave you this is not an ISO certified watch but it is rated at 200 meters. I've worn it into wave pools and such and swimming and you know taking showers and everything with the screw down 
all the way no problems yet at all no leaks so it's pretty good even though it's not ISO certified but you know it does the job and also the packaging is really nice this is it comes with some mechanical information and the international warranty and again that's the model number FEM 65008B9 and the dimensions for this case is from here to the crown is 45 millimeters the length of the case is about 46 millimeters and also the width or how thick it is is about 14 millimeters and just to compare I have a quarter from the United States even though I'm Canadian I'll show you there that just shows you how American money is used worldwide another example of that so there's a the quarter and that's what it looks like right there so hopefully this might be useful for those who are looking for this specific model and if you're in the market for a watch that is 200 to 250 dollars depending on the day I highly recommend this watch and this band is you know you can use if you don't like the band you can always change it the lug size is 22 millimeters so to each its own you might like the original band that it comes with but you know for my specific comfort level it's not going to do the job for me so thanks for watching guys and i will see you next time oh sorry guys and one more thing the loom i can't show you this right now in the, any demonstrations because it's really bright around my house and the loom is excellent uh, i gotta say i can i can see it all night just you know five minutes of natural daylight or artificial light charging it Five, ten minutes, not even ten minutes, you can have a glance at your watch in the pitch dark. In when it's freshly charged, you can actually read some of the text like off a piece of paper in, in pitch black. So it is very bright. Take my word for it, it looks really nice. So thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time.